more you look, the more AI there is out there. London-based Synthesia are a leader in using machine intelligence to turn text into video. We make video production easy for our clients. I sat down with Daniel, only it's not him speaking. Including one-third of the Fortune 100. But his avatar. So all that had to happen is me speaking into camera for two, three minutes, and then we were able to train our AI models. Let's get started. Their clients are businesses wanting to create and revise realistic video presentations in any language, but they're keen to stress they're not creating deep fakes. There's much more under the hood of these applications. Given that we only create someone's likeness with their explicit consent, you can't just generate video of anyone. We believe that explicit consent, uh, content moderation, and really working with the wider community are the keys to an ethical platform. But the proliferation of other AIs trained on any data you want, in some cases the entire internet, threatens to pollute the online world with a tidal wave of misinformation, harmful content, or just rubbish. If you look at coding, 50% of all the code generated now is AI generated. Can we set standards around what we feed them? So we don't feed them junk food. We feed them better quality inputs, so they have better quality outputs. Mostak's company has just launched its latest text-to-image AI, Deep Floyd. If you can imagine it, it can make a picture of it, raising questions about copyright and truth. Can we get it to generate a bit of a, a, a fake news story, a UFO looming down over the Houses of Parliament in London? OK, wow. The problem is even using some classic tools like Photoshop, People can do a lot of fakes. Nowadays, I think maybe in the next few years, we will see a lot of fake images that will be very, very close to real quality. Clearly, These images are watermarked to show they're AI generated, but it doesn't take much expertise to get around that. And no one quite knows how to spot AI generated text. This happened with social media, you know, maybe a decade ago, is that the technology moves so fast and the bad actors can exploit it quicker than uh, protections can be put in place. We remain really concerned about uh, just a, an average internet user's ability to find accurate information and know that that is the accurate information. Whether their products are self-contained business tools or publicly available content generating machines, AI pioneers say regulation is needed. But while we wait to see what that looks like, the technology races ever onwards. Tom Clark, Sky News.